Let the good times roll. The second premium expansion pack DLC for Saints Row 2022 has been released. Doc Ketchum's Murder Circus DLC introduces a new game mode called Murder Circus. The game mode's objective is quite simple. Survive all four combat arenas. The arenas will always be in a randomized order. You will have to fight through waves of various enemies such as furries, prison inmates, martial arts students, Santo Ileso police, SWAT units, martial military, the idols, and the Los Panteros. To start the DLC, pull out your phone and click on the newly added Murder Circus app. From there, you will see the player selection screen. There are four contestants to choose from. Chief Justice, Consuela Reyes, Daniel Lee, and Artemis Van de Kogel. You can't use your custom character from the main story in this DLC because former champions are not allowed. That's what Kevin said on the phone. If you have completed Saints Row's campaign story, then you might recall in Mission 18, Aggressive Recruiting. The player goes to Boot Hill, an abandoned island to participate in the murder circus to help build street cred for the Saints and gain new recruits. This mission is where Doc Ketchum and Boot Hill are first introduced. The Doc Ketchum's Murder Circus DLC adds the following five collectibles for your Saints headquarters. The Doc Box HQ collectible, Casket of Chaos HQ collectible, Doc's Blow Up Buddy HQ collectible, Doc's Medicine Cart, and the Head Trip HQ collectible. Also, the Doc Ketchum's Murder Circus DLC adds new tattoos and outfits. Three new tattoos are introduced for both right and left arm sleeves. And the following outfits are added to your wardrobe. Artemis van de Kogel's outfit, Chief Justice's outfit, Consuela Reyes' outfit. Daniel Lee's outfit. And Professor Genki's outfit. Additionally, the DLC adds Doc Ketchum's boots and mask. For some stupid reason, the rest of Doc Ketchum's outfit is not available. Only his boots and mask are available, which I find to be strange. I wish his entire outfit was readily available. And last but not least, Doc Ketchum's Murder Circus DLC adds four new weapons to the game. The 410 Bulldogs are two shotguns that the player can dual wield. The CG338 Dark Shot is a sniper rifle. Ah! 
Let's keep this up. Gotta take this one to the morgue. The AG-303 Harlock is a light machine gun. and Molotovs are back. Yes, you can finally throw Molotovs in Saints Row 2022. However, I should point out that you can't purchase Molotovs at the gun store. In order to equip and use Molotovs, you have to pull out your phone, select the Skills app, and then assign yourself the Molotov skill. After doing that, you can now throw Molotovs an infinite amount of times until the cooldown resets. Now let's talk about the Murder Circus game mode. There is a maximum of eight levels all four contestants can reach. Each level gained will be met with rewards, some of which will make you last longer in battle. To level up and gain experience points, you have to kill enemies. When you kill an enemy NPC, they will drop boot coins which you can spend at the Boot Coin Emporium. The Boot Coin Emporium menu is right next to the contestant select screen. Here you can purchase weapon upgrades and perks that will help you survive longer. If you purchase something once, then it will become yours permanently. When you first spawn at Boot Hill, you will have your contestant's signature weapon with unlimited ammo. If you want stronger weapons, then you can visit the dock boxes scattered across the island. Opening a dock box will grant you a random weapon with limited ammo. Also, health does not regenerate in the DLC. To regain your health, you have to trigger a takedown animation. If health regenerated automatically, then this DLC would be a walk in the park. I do like the difficulty of this game mode because the game forces you to level up and spend your coins on skills and weapons in order to be successful in surviving all four arenas. Just don't expect to survive all four arenas from the get-go when starting this DLC. Your character's stats will be at their lowest. If you happen to die, then it's not a problem. The game will save your XP and the coins you gathered. You can continue from the beginning as if nothing happened. Eventually, as you kill more enemies, you will level up and gain more coins, which will make you stronger. Upon reaching level 8, you will unlock a unique boss fight that is associated with your contestant. Chief Justice's boss fight is the skeleton crew. Consuela Reyes' boss fight consists of Martial Military, the Idols, and Los Panteros. Daniel Lee's boss fight is Shot Dog, a man wearing a hot dog costume dual wielding shotguns. And Artemis Van de Kogel's boss fight is Professor Genki. Yes, Professor Genki from Saints Row 3 and Saints Row 4. Professor Genki in this game wears a Vegas cowboy outfit and has a mustache and goatee. He bears a resemblance to Colonel Sanders from KFC. Here are my thoughts on the Doc Ketchum's Murder Circus DLC. My biggest pet peeve is Doc Ketchum. If you ask Saints Row fans about Doc Ketchum, 99% of people will say they have no clue who he is. They should have used Professor Genki instead of Doc Ketchum and called the murder circus Genki Bowl. Saints Row 3 released in 2011, and since that time Professor Genki has become a memorable video game character and household name. It's been 12 years since Saints Row 3 released, and almost everyone who played Saints Row 3 and Saints Row 4 are aware of who Professor Genki is. 
Even casual Saints Row players know who he is. On the other hand, everyone has quickly forgotten about Doc Ketchum from Saints Row 2022, who appears in Mission 18, aggressive recruiting. Doc Ketchum doesn't make a physical appearance in the mission, but you can hear him talk during the entire duration you're at Boot Hill. Also in the DLC, Doc Ketchum's character design is terrible. He wears an electronic top hat, a mustache mask, and a ringmaster outfit. Nothing he wears remotely resembles a doctor, so I don't know why he's called Doc Ketchum. He should have been called Ringmaster Ketchum since he's promoting the murder circus. At least for Professor Genki, the name makes sense. In Saints Row 3 and Saints Row 4, the Japanese cat mascot wears a white lab coat, just like science professors. Someone said it best in the comments of my Saints Row Doc Ketchum's Murder Circus DLC full game walkthrough which is that Doc Ketchum is the cheap rip-off version of Professor Genki from Dollar Tree. The second thing that disappointed me about the DLC is that there are no unique close-up cutscenes for the four contestants. The game throws these characters at you and expects you to resonate with them. All four contestants have a reason for participating in the Mooter Circus at Boot Hill, but we aren't told why in greater detail. Chief Justice is there because he wants to get revenge and punish the killers who murdered his family. Apparently, the skeleton crew killed his family. Prior to coming to Boot Hill, he used to be a judge, but turned into a vigilante. Consuela Reyes is there because she wants to show Santo Ileso. She runs the city. She's a mixed martial arts champion and former Pantero member. Daniel Lee is there because the idols kidnapped him and left him on Boot Hill to die. Little did they know he's a Murder Circus superfan and knows the entire layout of the map. Prior to coming to Boot Hill, he was a mailroom clerk. And Artemis Van de Kogel is there because he's a world-class competitive shooter and has come to Boot Hill to hunt the most dangerous game, which is humans. Playing as four random characters with no familiarity just feels weird. All we get is a brief background story on the contestant selection screen. I wish we saw a background video of each character's past and why they're at Boot Hill. Instead of the default, here is our next contestant speech by Doc Ketchum. The third thing that disappointed me was no zombies. I mean, come on. This is the perfect time and place to add zombies to Saints Row 2022. I would be content with a zombie mode or at least zombie enemies. Sure, you can kill furries, prison inmates, martial arts students, but it would have been even cooler if you could kill waves of zombies similar to Saints Row 3's Zombie Island. Deep Silver Volition missed a huge opportunity to add a zombie mode. Imagine surviving waves of zombies with friends similar to Call of Duty. Saints Row has co-op, so a zombie mode would have been perfect. Depending on where you live, the price for Doc Ketchum's Murder Circus DLC will vary. For people that live in America, this add-on is $9.99 on Epic Games. If you own the Saints Row Expansion Pass, then you will unlock all three premium expansion packs. In my opinion, this DLC is not worth $9.99. Outside the new outfits and weapons, there isn't anything new new, so to speak. Everyone that has played Saints Row's campaign story is already familiar with the Murder Circus game mode in Boot Hill since in Mission 18, Aggressive Recruiting, the player goes to Boot Hill to participate in the Murder Circus. Deep Silver Volition is essentially reusing the same exact mission and map, but asking $9.99 for it. This DLC should be $4.99 at best. There is only one game mode in this DLC, and everyone is already familiar with it. Overall, this DLC felt like a grind fest, grinding your way to level 8 for all four contestants. The only thing I genuinely liked about this DLC was Professor Genki making an appearance as the boss fight for Artemis van de Kogel. I was not expecting Professor Genki to make a cameo in Saints Row 2022, but here we are. They should have just replaced him with Doc Ketchum and called the murder circus Genki Bowl. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on this DLC. Would you gladly pay 10 bucks for the Doc Ketchum's Murder Circus DLC? Or do you think it should be worth less? And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel for future Saints Row content. I will cover the final expansion pack next month when it releases. According to the post-launch content roadmap, in August, expansion number three will be released. The third premium DLC will feature new story missions, enemies, cosmetics, and more. A new district will be added similar to last month's expansion pack, the Heist and the Hazardous DLC which added the Sunshine Springs District. I would not be surprised if the next DLC also has three short story missions. It seems the theme of the next DLC is live-action role-playing. The district will most likely revolve around LARPing. 
And that concludes my review of Doc Ketchum's Murder Circus DLC. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on this DLC. Thank you.